y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl c and i'm back with another video in this video i'll be showing you guys what i do in a day as a hairstylist um this is my first client for the day i usually take two to three clients a day today i have three the last client being my cousin i'm just gonna be um showing you guys everything that this client is getting 18 inch butterfly locks i call them the stress locks on my website if you guys would like to book i will leave the link down below but I already box braided her hair and I'm just inserting the Marley here and I'm going to begin wrapping. I'm using Water Wave here to wrap her hair. This is not a tutorial so I'm not going to be talking through this part. I am now finished with her hair, so I'm just going to lay down her edges, and I'm using my edge control. You guys can find this on my website. I'll also leave the link down below. I'm going to be taking an edge brush and smoothing her baby hairs. This most can also be found on my website. I will leave the link down below. And when I finish with my client's hair, I usually mousse it down, spray it with some oil sheen, do the edges. So that's what I'm doing right here. Then I tell them to go look at it because um, I do not do nobody's hair in front of the mirror for my personal reasons. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell her go look at it, ask her if she like it, then I'm gonna take some pictures. Another thing is I always ask my clients if they have time for pictures or ask them if I can take pictures because you don't want to just record and take pictures. I know some, some stylists do that. They put it on their website that you consent to take pictures and videos once you're booked with them. I don't do that. I ask my clients when they get here. I got that swing chair just to take pictures of my clients because I needed something that was going to pop out from the rest. I know a lot of people have them, but yeah, I just wanted my pictures to pop. Um, so this is Ambeth's file. This is Annie's and this is ours. You don't have to look at the camera. Just look at that. Just What's this? First and second. Give her back. If you follow me on Instagram, you know these are the different angles that I take when I take my pictures. I tell them to turn around, shake when I do the videos, and I post it as real. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so I have my phone and shake. Alright, 
yeah, so between my clients, I clean up everywhere. Um, I spray lights, all that stuff. So this is what I use to clean up because it's still COVID outside. So, and I still got my mask on. I'll be looking crazy in here. Sometimes I want to take off my scarf. Sometimes I don't. Today's a day I did not feel like taking off my scarf. But when I do go get something to eat, I take it off. I'm going to take a wipe. And wipe off the chair. Take some ice bowl. So I try to get an angle where I can see everything. Then I wipe off the chair. I'm about to go outside and get some food. I'm gonna take off my scarf. If my hand needs flat iron, I'm gonna flat iron it just to go get food. I don't care. So. take my camera outside unless there's somebody with me because this is flat bush and I just moved over here so no we're not doing that so I'm gonna record when I come back so yeah I literally only have eight minutes to eat seven minutes now I have a client at two o'clock since I'm on a diet, I bought some soup, some chicken soup, and I don't eat dumplings, so I took the dumplings out. I'm probably the only one sitting who don't eat dumplings, but <laughs> whatever. That's what it looks like. And this is all I eat for the day. And I usually have um, four bottles of water and these shakes that I got from the weight loss clinic since I'm on a diet. So I have this in the morning and then I have a soup in the afternoon and in between I have like four or five bottles of water. And it's been working so far. I'm not about to record me eating because I need to get it over with. Probably not even going to be able to eat half of the soup. So I'm going to record when my client gets here. This is my second client of the day, and she's getting 14 inches. Right here, I'm just doing the regular, inserting the molly here, and then wrapping her hair. This is not a tutorial like I said before, so I'm going to skip through this part. 